So this is part two to the video that I photographed this morning, um, which was doing some wildlife stock photography. And if you saw my footage from this morning, you saw that I was saying it's kind of late, it's already, the animals weren't as active, but now that it's later in the day, it's getting very close to sunset, um, of course, they're more active, and I don't know if you can see this. There are one, two, three, at least four, maybe five deer in front of me on this path. So I don't know if you could hear that, but they're kind of telling me, stay away. I am not really that close to them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six of them uh, standing here. Um, one of them, maybe the mama of the group, making a hissing and a stomping and a nodding motion to tell me that um, I need to keep my distance, which of course I am. Um, but there's, this is their time to be out here. And um, like I, I said in my other video, I am a visitor and this is where they live. So I need to play by their rules. So since the video this morning, someone posted a very interesting question that I probably should have answered um, when I did the video, but it was kind of a spur of the moment thing and I wasn't thinking that way. So I was asked um, what lenses I use when I do my wildlife photography. And there's actually two different lenses that I use. I use my um, Canon 7200 f 2.8. These deer are still making their warning noises to me and I'm nowhere near them. <laughs> So I use the 7200 2.8 and I also use a Canon 100 400. Um, it's a variable aperture f 4.5 to f 5.6 lens. I've been mainly going out with my um, shorter lens, my 7200 2.8, mainly because of light. So with the 7200 2.8, I can keep that constant 2.8 aperture throughout the focal lengths. So if I want to shoot all the way up to 200 millimeters, I can still have it wide open at 2.8. With the variable aperture lens, when I'm shooting at 100 millimeters, that's when I can have my um, f4.5. But then by the time I get to the... Um, 400 mill millimeter length, I can only do an f 5.6. So when I'm shooting out here, especially like now, you can see this time of day, it's getting a little bit dark out here. And especially in the morning, like shortly after sunrise, I do need to be um, very careful about how much light I'm letting in. I want as much light as possible. Now, when I'm shooting, I always pr prioritize my shutter speed and I'm usually keeping it at about one sixteen hundredth of a second, sometimes up to one two thousandth, depending on what I'm photographing. If something is staying still, like a deer on a path, that's easier. But if I'm having something that's moving, like a bird or an animal running, well then I'm gonna want a faster shutter speed, right? So with that in mind, I'm keeping that shutter speed rather fast, which of course is cutting down on the light that I can get into that camera. And then I wanna keep that aperture as wide open as possible. I'm also using my auto ISO function because um, I want to keep that shutter speed high and I want to keep that aperture at exactly where I want it, at the 2.8, okay? So that's when the whole lighting thing comes into play, which is why I am using the shorter lens instead of the longer one. Now, the good thing is I am shooting with a Canon 5D Mark IV, so it has a lot of megapixels, I do have a lot of options to be able to crop those images down um, pretty well. And also I use uh, Topaz Denoise, so I have some options to also, um, if the images are very noisy, 
I can usually correct that usually pretty well. So it, the images become usable and I get a lot more keepers that way. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any more questions about that, drop them down below. Um, so that's primarily why I'm using the 7200 more than I'm using the 100-400. Now, if I'm going out during the middle of the day and you know shooting maybe ducks in a pond or something that's going to be there in the middle of the day and I'm gonna have a really bright light, then I'm not so worried about having to um, bring that f-stop up okay i don't need to keep it as wide open as i do when i'm shooting earlier in the day or later in the day so that's when i can use that 100 400 and not really worry as much that i have to go up to a 5.6 hope that makes sense so i'm taking note of this lighting here right now absolutely gorgeous we are like um pretty much golden hour right now um and the woods are kind of just like just kind of glowing like this beautiful warm glow behind me. Um, I got some good photos of the deer today. I have to bring them up um, on the computer and see what I have, crop them, do a slight bit of editing, and then I will pop those up. Um, deer are very skittish today for some reason. I don't know why they were just um, making a lot of noises and really trying to I'm hearing squirrels around me now and just really kind of trying to show me that they were there and that they didn't want to be bothered. Um, a lot of times when I come in here, they'll kind of just hang out and do their thing and they're not really concerned. Today was different. I don't know why, um, but that's how it is sometimes. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you, ha you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And um, if you like this type of content where I'm going into the woods and actually photographing and doing something a little bit different from the regular stock stuff, let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.